So I got a new laptop recently, and I've got it set up pretty much how I want it. And thought I'd kind of um, demonstrate it and give my thoughts behind why I did what I did. I've been playing around with tiling window managers, and I really like the simplicity of them and how they're lightweight. But I found myself sometimes wanting to use the mouse. Um, you know, a lot of times I am just at the keyboard and I want to be productive on the keyboard, but sometimes I want to use the mouse too, so I wanted a system that could incorporate both. Um, and if I'm going to use the mouse and I'm going to use Linux, I might as well have some visual effects. You know, some people hate them, but I don't know, I think they're kind of fun. And they don't really bother me like they seem to bother other people. In fact, I kind of enjoy them. I mean, the cube I could do without, but it's still kind of fun now and then to to show people. But, but anyways, on the tiling window manager side of things, you can pretty much make Compass behave like a tiling window manager. You just gotta set it up right. I mean, if you really, I mean, obviously I have to hit an extra key to make them go where I want them to go, but. I normally wouldn't do that if I was really in the pro productivity zone. I'd be using Tmux anyway. In which case, you know, I might have them open over here and the music player open over here and maybe another command line down here or something. But, you know, if I really wanted to be productive, I probably wouldn't be using the window manager anyway. So. So it's kind of an interesting situation though because sometimes I find myself using two programs to do one task. Like, like I use Vim, Vim PC for my MPD player, MPD client, which is awesome by the way. Check it out. But and you can click, but it's not really that great. Um, you know, if I'm using the mouse. So I also installed uh, Sonata which is actually pretty nice. It gives you some lyric info and well, this isn't a real song, but it gives you some uh, lyrics info and you can kind of you know, stick it on top like this if you just wanted to sit there or um, you can minimize it and just have it in the system trade to see what's playing. So those are some nice touches. Um, pr yeah, pretty much everything I just do with keyboard shortcuts, so it's just as fast. Um, I put a little menu up here, too, just in case I need to get to something. I've been using Thunar, and I like it a lot. Uh, installed this PDF viewer called LLP, which is based off of Moo PDF with some more features. It's pretty cool. Um, text files open in Vim, of course. Let's see. For a uh, picture viewer, I'm using uh, Fe. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure, but it's just it's very simplistic, but it does the job. You can also set your background with it, which is how I set my background. Um, Movie player. M player is the obvious choice, so went with that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it. You got YCD for my network manager. Dropbox installed. Um, got XBMC installed because I sometimes play stuff on LED TV downstairs with an HDMI port. It's pretty cool. It's got some neat little add-ons and stuff. You can like watch Vimcasts on your TV. They're just all listed here. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and TED Talks and Wimp and YouTube and stuff. So I'd never really played with it that much, but now that I have, it's pretty neat. And it's got a nice little weather app and stuff. Um, I also got a uh, Netflix to work 
on Arch Linux, which is pretty fascinating to be honest. And it works like a charm. Just play Sherlock here. The nice thing about this is you can just stick it over there and you know, be doing your other stuff over here. It fits perfectly. But anyway, it's enough of that. It's using the Netflix desktop. There's like a guy who set up a repository to work perfectly for it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Also got a solid state drive so it opens up office apps really quickly. Calculator. Xsane. You know, just the bare minimum stuff I need. But just thought I'd uh, share. Probably be doing some game tutorials soon.